Hi guys, in this video tutorial, we will try to use VS Code to SSH into a remote machine to basically edit files. Suppose you have a remote server running on some uh, instances and you want to like edit some files or configuration. Basically, what you use is a VI editor or basically a nano editor to edit those. But uh, sometimes it gets a little complicated, not complicated, but get a little uh, difficult to understand how really the things are working. So what we can use is like we can use VS Code directly into that machine, but we don't have GUI there. So we don't have any graphical user interface there. So what we can do is like use VS Studio, uh, Visual Studio Code inside our local machine and access that using uh, remote SSH, uh, remote SSH, and uh, basically change the file from our local machine. Only. So if, if you can see the example here, like suppose I have a machine running here uh, locally. So if, if if I can SSH into this machine, this is the IP address and the username, and if I SSH into this machine, suppose uh, I have a file here that is server.js, right? So now, now to edit the server.js, what we can do is like we can use uh, like nano server.js and we can just try something inside that or we can use vim, so vim editor as well for this one so this gets a little bit complicated like if you don't know how to work with all this stuff and sometimes it get a little complicated so what we can do we can easily ssh into this machine and use vs code uh if we are in our local machine we can simply do like this and it will open the code editor that is the vs code in our local machine and we can start editing but we cannot do that in this loop in this remote machine so what we'll do is to like ssh into this machine and try to edit the service.js file directly from our local machine so for that let's go to vs code first and for this you need a couple of uh not couple of you need one extension uh that is the remote <coughs> remote ssh this one we need to install this one okay now to access this machine all you need to have the ip address which and the host name which is this one Okay, so I'm just going to copy this and inside VS Code, I'm going to press Control Shift B, which will open the uh, command palette. And here I will write down remote SSH. And this will, uh, there is an option here to add a new SSH host. I'm going to click that one and it will ask me for the SSH connection command. So the one which we copied here, so and we append uh, SSH here also. Okay, so the SSH machine host name and the IP address. Once you click enter, and it will ask you to save the configuration file. Go ahead, save it uh, on, either on this config or uh, SSH. So I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to connect to that. Now sometimes uh, VS Code doesn't work exactly how it should work. So to overcome this, you can just click on this one, and you can click Connect to Host, and you can <coughs> use this IP address, which is the same which we are working with. So if you click this one, it will open a new window, and it will ask you for the password. So I write the password, and see it's connected now. Now to edit that. You cannot have the files here, so to edit that, you can click on Open File, and it will open the directory structure from the remote machine. Now you, you can see here that we have server.js, right? Now I can open that, and I can change it here. I can add something like console.log or something like that. I can basically edit it here, and I can save it. As soon as I save, um, I can go back to my uh, remote SSH, and I can do another nano, and as I can do now i can see here that the file has been edited so it is directly edited from vs code so yeah so that's how you do it and uh, you, if you want to create a new file also you can do it simply by going into file new file and like i don't know something to here and i can save it and it will ask me for the location uh, i will save it to desktop and i will name it as test okay it is saved now if i go to desktop in the remote machine and i can let ls here and you can see that i have test here And yeah, so that's how you do it. So I hope uh, this video is uh, useful. And uh, if you like this video, please uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And I make videos related to cloud um, DevOps tools and programming related um, topics. Uh, if you like it, please uh, write and comment. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.